What's up, everybody? So today I am going through the 90s, uh, and I've been calling it the, the lost years. Um, I don't know. I know that there's a lot of collectors out there like me that uh, cl collected heavily in the late 80s, uh, even the early 90s. And uh, you can see here I got a pack from each year. Uh, but then, of course, um, you know, in 1993, well, 94 was when the uh, when they had that short uh, season because of the uh, the strike. And I have to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever even seen uh, 1995 or any of these later years in the 90s. So it'll be fun to kind of uh, kind of walk through history uh, with these packs. Um, so as you can imagine, let's start with 1990. Let's start in order. Uh, and of course, you have the uh, the big card is the uh, the Frank Thomas, but then you also have the uh, the Sammy Sosa and the Larry Walker. So. Uh, be crazy if we hit a uh, Frank Thomas no-name card, uh, but I doubt we'll hit that, but uh, here we go. So we have Ozzy Smith, uh, Chris Basio, definitely remember these cards, uh, Drew Hall, uh, Jeff Russell, Rick Aguilera, Rod Nichols, Pat Perry, uh, Jeff Jude, and I always like these, uh, the number one draft pick cards. Um, too bad I didn't hit the Frank Thomas there. Uh, Candy Maldonado, uh, Ken Williams, Jeff King, Alan Trammell, uh, Doug Drabeck, Will Clark, Dion James, and Andre Dawson. So a couple of uh, pretty you know big Hall of Famers actually. Let's see, we got Ozzy Smith. Uh, we got a. Let me just go back to this again. We got an Alan Trammell. We got a Doug Drabeck. We got a Will Clark. Andre Dawson. I, I realize that not all of the, all of those guys are Hall of Famers, but some cool cards there. 1990 tops. Uh, then on to 1991. Of course, 91's famous for the uh, the Desert Shield, and uh, the Chipper Jones is basically the the big card in this set. It's really the only card in this set that really stands out. Um, but and then of course they have the the 40 years of baseball. Uh, 52 tops was that that first set. Uh, oh, that's nice. George Brett, uh, Kelly Gruber, Greg Smith, John Candelaria, Rex Hudler, Bernard Gilkey. <laughs> I remember that guy. Uh, Tim Tuffle, uh, Jack Dougherty, Alejandro Pena, Greg Briley. I thought for a second that would be Griffey, but uh, Howard Johnson, Andy Bennis. Anthony Telford and Don Zimmer. So not, not much going on there, but still, you know, kind of cool looking through that again. Uh, so next up was 1992. Um, and the first thing I noticed about 92 is that there is no gum. Uh, I guess 91 was the last year that they included gum. And um, 91 was the first year where they started to include parallels in the packs. Uh, so that kind of... That was a big change. Like they, they got rid of the gum and they started to include those uh, the gold parallels. And of course, within within this set, you got uh, Ivan Rodriguez, uh, Manny Ramirez, Cliff Floyd. So let's see if we could hit one of those cards. Uh, let's see, uh, Wayne Rosenthal, Sean Green. That's kind of a cool card. Sean Green, uh, Derek Bell, Bob Welch. Jose Canseco, very cool, all-star card. Uh, let's see, we have a Matt Williams. And, oh, looks like i got to flip this over. Is there a card in the back of this? No. Uh, Jeff Russell, Carlos Quintana, Doug Jones, Pete Smith, Mickey Tettleton, Mark Langston, Scott Bales, and uh, Mookie Wilson. I just uh, hit a rookie card of him. <laughs> So uh, pretty cool uh, set. I remember the gold cards uh, were pretty tough to come by back then. Then they got easier as the years went on. Uh, and then so here is 93 tops. And, of course, in 93, we are looking uh, for the, uh, the Derek Jeter. I have to be honest with you, I don't know if Jeter's in Series 1 or Series 2. So it's possible that I'll be hoping for a Jeter here uh, with absolutely no chance of getting him. Uh, but let's see what we get. Um, Jose Viseano. And, oh, cool. Eric Karros. And a Ryan Sandberg. Very cool. Kurt Manwaring. 
John Crook. And looks so like we got a gold card of Wade Boggs. That's really cool. So, yeah, I remember as the years went on, the gold cards were easier to hit. Um, I think these might have been in every pack. Wade Boggs tops gold. Uh, Mark Lemke. Joe Carter. Uh, Rick Green. Brian Barnes. Uh, Kenny Rogers. Howard Johnson. Preston Wilson. Alan Mills and Lee Smith. So no Jeter, uh, but that was a really cool looking uh, gold card of Wade Boggs. If I can find it, there it is. Boom. Wade Boggs gold. Um, and uh, again, this this was the last, I don't know if you guys are with me here, but 94 Tops was the last pack that I really kind of remember. Uh, and I don't have many of them, but I have a couple. And like I said, uh, 94 uh, was the year where there wasn't uh, there wasn't a postseason, so um, this was one of those things. Where I, was, I don't you know I abandoned uh, base, collecting baseball cards like a lot a lot of people after uh, the strike, um, and ended up getting pulled right back in uh, based on the uh, the home runs. But you know with Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire that whole chase. Um, but for some reason I didn't get back into baseball cards. Uh, Mike Benjamin. Uh, so look, some of these cards are backwards. Kevin Ory. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, it's kind of confusing here because some of these are backwards. Uh, all right. Uh, we have a John Cummings and a Jeff uh, D'Amico Topps Gold card there. And it looks like we've got another Topps Gold card, this time of Ramon Ram uh, Martinez. Thought that was uh, Pedro for a second. Uh, Rob Ducey. So there's two uh, gold cards in this pack. Kent Herbeck. Uh, we get a Tim Spare. Uh, Steve Bouchelle. John Raper. <laughs> uh, Mike he Henneman. And uh, let's see. We got a bunch of rookie cards here. Todd Williams, Ron Watson, Kirk Bullinger, and Mike Welch. Wow. A bunch of guys that I've never heard of. Um, man, some of these cards, some of these guys probably never made it out of single A and double A. Um, all right, on to, I believe this is 95. Yeah, 95. This is the, the first set where I have to say, I don't remember, I don't think I've ever opened a pack of this, which is kind of cool to just kind of go through it. So here we go. And I, I saw right away, it was kind of cool, I saw Chipper Jones on the back. So Chipper Jones uh, card that I'll, I'll pull up. Uh, these cards are kind of stuck together here. Um, all right, so we have a, a top draft pick of Ben Grieve. So that's kind of cool. I almost, you know, na nowadays, like when you get a card like this, uh, it's always numbered. So I, <laughs> the first thing I looked for was whether it was numbered and it was not. Uh, let's see. Uh, these cards are totally stuck together. Let's see. Louis Soho. Uh, Dave Fleming. <laughs> it looks like one card. So Lu Louis Soho, Dave Fleming. Uh, let's see. Eric Anthony. I'm surprised Eric Anthony was still playing baseball at this point. Um... Derek Bell. Derek Bell. Let's take a look at Eric Anthony real quick. Uh, let's see. He hit 237 with 10 home runs and 30 RBIs. So not a great year for Eric Anthony. Derek Bell. Uh, Dave. Uh, Dave Veris. And another Dave Veris. <laughs> I just hit two of these cards. <laughs> two Dave Veris cards. Uh, let's see, uh, Nigel Wilson. I remember him being a big prospect at one time. Nigel Wilson and uh, Sean Green. Then we have uh, Brian McRae. Let's see if I can pull these apart. Ooh, these are tough to pull apart. Um, and we got a very cool looking uh, Bernie Williams card. It's a really cool card, Bernie Williams. Uh, oh, cool. This uh, looks like a foil card. Um, so they definitely started to go, look at that beautiful card of Chipper Jones. Yeah, I, I remember they made a point, I guess to try to draw people back in, they started to, they were a little bit more playful with the cards. 
Um, and here's a Kevin Foster. They did a lot of, you know, they did gold cards. They did the foil card. Uh, you can see here that's a little uh, different. Uh, started to play around with some things. You can see this Nigel Wilson. It's a little bit more playful. Um, and apparently they put two cards <laughs> in some packs. All right. Uh, 1996, of course, is uh, a fond year for me because the Yankees won the World Series in 96. And uh, I was at game one um, when the Atlanta Braves uh, and Andrew Jones hit two home runs against the Yankees and took a commanding 2 nothing lead over the Yankees in the World Series. Uh, Brady Anderson, uh, Larry Walker. Again, all these cards are really stuck together. Larry Walker. Um, let's see. We have uh, Harold Baines. And... Uh, Pedro Munoz. I'm glad that they uh, figured out a way to <laughs> not have cards stick together. I mean, the you could tell that the card stock on these is so much nicer than, you know, the, the 80s. But uh, the problem is that they kind of stick together. So this looks like it's kind of some sort of a gold card now appearing. And let's see, we have... And that, um, Billy Owens, Richie Sexton. So that's kind of cool. Richie Sexton rookie card, prospect card. Probably the best card in the pack so far. Um, let's see. We have a Carlos Garcia. Um, Paul Sorrento. Uh, let's see. Rick, another one of these now appearing. <laughs> uh, Chad Fonville. And let's see, the last card here is an Albert Bell Star Power. So uh, pretty cool cards, but again, kind of annoying that they sort of stick together a little the way they do. Uh, 1997 Series 2. And again, uh, some of these cards I am seeing for the first time. Um, and I, apparently there's like a Derek Jeter Rookie of the Year card. Um, like an autograph card, that would be insane to hit that. Um, Livion Hernandez, Armando Benitez. Uh, let's see, it's kind of a cool card. Eddie Murray highlights. Throw back to Eddie Murray. Uh, let's see, Ron Valone. And we have Mark Johnson and Mark Kotze. Um, let's see, James Baldwin, Moises Alou, um, Allensworth, <laughs> Allensworth, Taubenzi, Jack McDowell on this card, Jack McDowell, and John Olerud. So, um, luckily for me, I kind of missed out on these years. <laughs> So I have to deal with all the cards getting stuck together. Uh, 98. Uh, from what I understand, this was the first year that uh, A-Rod was part of the set. Um, obviously, his rookie card was long before that, but this was the first time that he was included in a top set, from what I understand. Mark Clark, uh, John Flaherty. So they got this gold design here. Uh, Chad Curtis. Uh, then we have a, oh, that's nice looking, Fred McGriff there. Uh, we got uh, John, I thought that was John Schmoltz for a second. John Smiley. John Smiley. Uh, Edwin Diaz. Um, Brett Tomko. Uh, let's see. Heathcliff Slocum. Slocum, uh, Kareem Garcia, Manny Alexander, and Scott Brocious. My boy, Scott Brocious. All right, and then last, uh, 1999, and uh, I think you got Holiday, Burrell, uh, Burnett. Be kind of cool to get like an insert, but uh, these cards don't stick as bad together. Ryan Miner, uh, Rick Helling. Uh, let's see, uh, Reggie Jefferson, 
uh, Derek Gibson, uh, Chris Widger, uh, Jose Freeman. I mean, the, the, the names are really difficult to read. Roberto Olimar, obviously. That's an awesome card. Um, let's see. Miguel Cairo. Oh, Miguel, I remember Miguel Cairo for the Yankees. He played for the Yankees for a little bit. Um, let's see. We got Vinny Castilla, Chipper Jones, and Scott Rowland. That's a really cool 98 all-tops all third baseman. Uh, then we have a Wade Boggs with the Rays. And uh, finally, Jason LaRue, Matt LaCroix, and Mitch Maluski. All right, let me do a quick recap. All right, guys, so just to do a quick recap, I uh, pick one card uh, from each year to rep uh, each pack to represent that year. So I uh, got this Ozzy Smith uh, from 1990 Tops. I uh, got this uh, George Brett from 91 Tops. Uh, this Sean Green rookie from 92 Tops. Got this Wade Boggs uh, gold card from 93 Tops. Got this uh, Ramon Martinez, again, uh, Topps Gold card from 94. Thought this card was really cool looking. Uh, Chipper Jones, uh, 95 Topps. Uh, Richie Sexton, rookie from 96 Topps. Uh, this Mark Kotze, rookie from 97 Topps. Fred McGriff, again, not a very valuable card, but a really cool card of uh, the Crime Dog, uh, 98 tops back when he was with the, the, a, a team called the Devil Rays. <laughs> For those of you uh, that were around, remember the, they, they went from the Devil Rays to the Rays. Um, and then finally, in 90, uh, 99 tops, you got uh, this Chipper Jones, Scott Rowland, and Vinny Castilla uh, card that I thought was pretty cool. Uh, and that's it guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And like I said, we'll be doing, uh, the, the next two decades right after that, uh, 2000s and 2010. Stay tuned for that. I'll talk to you later.